Today, I want to take a look at an often overlooked output method for the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, and that is paint with color. Today, I'm going to show you some awesome paint with color tips. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have I got a good one for you, and I really mean this is going to be a good one. We're going to be working with paint with color inside of the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. It's really cool, something I don't use too often, but I will be using it a lot more now that I've really wrapped my head around paint with color. Hopefully this tutorial will not be long. It's very simple, it's very easy, and very effective. I have several different examples for you. We're gonna start out with some radishes. What if we wanna give these radishes a nice pop of red color. Well, we can do, do that very easily with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. Let's come up and grab the uh, color mask icon, click on that. Let's sample a color in these radishes. They best represent the radishes, click OK. Let's go ahead and lighten up that selection by dragging the slider to the right. We'll lighten it up a good bit. And that's doing a good job. Now it's also getting some of these other areas here. Now we can work further here by adjusting these sliders here up in the color bar. I'm gonna drag this into the left a little bit just to drop some of that out. And I think that's good. Now we can also use layer mask mode by clicking this icon here after we make a selection. You gotta make a selection first. Right now, if you just click it, you'll get a message saying, hey, do this first, make a selection. So I'm gonna click okay. So grab your lasso tool and just Make a selection around the radishes, just like this. And then what we can do is click that button here to mask the mask. And then it's gonna ask, you wanna use this feather radius? You can use that feather radius or you could just click cancel. If you click cancel, it just won't apply a radius. And I think that's gonna be okay. So there's our radishes. Now we need to output this to paint color. Now I call it paint with color, but it's really called paint color. And it's basically dodging and burning with color. But for me, it adds a nice, beautiful pop of color. And you'll see this here in a minute. But let's go ahead and click this. When we click this, what it does is opens up your foreground color picker tool. Now, here's what I like to do. This is the color we originally picked. I'm just going to give it a more saturated color. And I'm just going to drag this and click over to the right of that for more saturation and click OK. But you'll notice we're in a linear light blend mode. We have a blank pixel layer. We have a selection here, which is that selected red color. And now what we can do with our brush, and I recommend try 100% opacity. It works pretty well all of the time. You can always drop the opacity if it's too much. And now you're painting through a selection. So look, you can just paint. You see that? It's dodging and burning with color. But look how it's just enriching all that color in there. Isn't that cool? Because whenever you uh, burn, you are actually adding more saturation. So I can paint over that once. Now it's a selection, right? So I can paint over it again. It'll make it a little bit of, of a stronger effect. So there's two times. Now check it out. Here is the before and here is the after. Now if that's too strong, you can either pull the fill back or pull the opacity back. If you want more, you can take the fill and you can start to drag this to the right and you can see you can increase that even more. So you have a lot of flexibility here, but I'm gonna show you a tip. This is where my tip comes in and I like this tip, it's pretty cool. I think you'll like it. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this tip is pretty cool. Uh, let me go ahead and go to my history and let's go back a few steps here. Let's go back to this where I just said paint color, so I have nothing on there. Now my red radishes are still selected, but here is where the tip comes in. Rather than painting in these radishes, check this out. We can just come here into the uh, CX or combo panel and click this red button, which opens up your field dialog. We already have our color selected here, this red color, right? And so make sure contents are set for foreground color. Now, if you click this drop down, you have different options here, but make sure you have the foreground color set and click OK and watch these radishes when I click OK. They magically fill with that color. Isn't that great? I really love this. I think it's really fast. Now you can also come here. This is another tip. You can grab your brush tool and, uh, and I still have 100% opacity, but I can still paint over some of these other areas if I want to just bring some more color out. You know, every time I lift my brush, I'll add a little bit more because remember, I am painting through a selection. So right there, it's a really quick way of taking that 
paint color selection and just filling it in immediately. Now here is my before and here is my after. Beautiful red radishes. Let's try it on another image. This bird. Let's do the same thing. Let's use a color mask. The color mask or the zone mask, luminosity mask, whichever one works the best, but we're working with color. So a lot of times the color mask will work really great. Let's find a color that represents the red on this bird. I just want to pop the red on this bird. So let's click right here. Click OK. And now that selects the bird pretty well, but we can tighten it up a little bit. Let me take this slider and drag it into the left a little bit just to really tighten up that selection. And let's lighten it up with this slider right here. Let's really lighten it up. Now, let's go ahead and use the mask, the mask tool again. So let's click on it. Now, remember, it's going to say, hey, you have to make a selection. Yeah, I always do that. Click OK. Type L to get your lasso tool. And let's just make a selection right around our little bird friend right here. Okay, Mr. Bird, there you go. We selected you. Now let's click the mask, the mask icon. And let's just click cancel and we won't add any feathering to it. And now let's output it to paint color. And remember, I like to use a little more saturation. So I'm just going to come right to the right of this, the whole way over here to the right. I might even come up a little, make it a little lighter and click OK. Now, what I can do is, again, with my brush, I can just simply paint that on. But let's try my new tip. And that is click the fill dialog right here and foreground color. Make sure you have that selected. Click OK. And like magic, you know, before and after. And remember with the brush, if it seems like it needs a little more down here, I'm at 100% opacity. I still have a selection. You can see by my selection indicator. And I can go ahead and paint some more of that down in here. Lift my brush paint again and add a little bit more. So pretty interesting. Here is the before and here's the after. Let's try another one. These are all stock images I'm working with, by the way. And I really like this image. It's kind of like a minimalistic style image with some really cool antennas and a a pale blue sky, but what if I want a little more saturation here? I'm going to show you something a little bit different this time. Now we could come and grab a color mask and select the color of the sky. We could do it that way, but I'm going to show you another tip and this is even quicker. Let's come to the CX or combo panel and click this icon to select the sky. And now Photoshop will select the sky for us, but now we're going to come up here to my channels, click on the active selection, and now that sky is selected. Now let's go ahead and now put it to paint color. So click on the paint color icon. The color picker will now come up. It remembers that last color we were on. So we need to click this color right here. We want to select this color, but I want a little more saturation. So that's that color right there. So I'm just going to come over to the right of that and increase that saturation and then click OK. Now I'm going to use that same tip and that is to come to the fill dialog icon. Click right here. Add that foreground color, click OK, and look, I magically changed my sky color from here to here. Isn't that great? Now, if you want more saturation, just take this fill and start to move it to the right. You can get more. Or I like the default of 15. If you want less, you can take that default back even more. Or you could take this opacity and start to pull it back. But whatever you want. Here is the before and here's the after. And that's a sky selection. Let's try one more. And here's our final image. And I can hear somebody saying, Dave, why'd you pick another blue background? Hey, this will work with any color. Believe me, it really will. We have this stool and you might say, well, why don't you go ahead and use select subject? And we could, but you'll notice there is some of that blue color in the stool right here. And there's a little bit of some of that blue reflected onto the stool. So this time I think it makes more sense to choose the color itself. Let's come up and grab this color mask icon and let's select some of these blue tones in here. Let's click OK. Let's go ahead and lighten up that selection a good bit. And I think just like that, I'm just going to take this just the way it is. And then I'm going to output this to paint color. I'm going to increase the saturation again. I'm going to come to the right and I'm going to come right over to around here. Click OK. Again, I have a brush tool. I could paint this on, but let's use my fill dialog. It makes a lot of sense. Click on this icon, foreground color, click OK, and look, before and after. And even those reflected colors that are on the stool, they get increased as well. So that does a beautiful job. Again, here is the before and here's the after. And again, do you want more saturation? Take the fill and drag it to the right and you can add more. It does a great job. And I think I want a little bit more on this one. Let's just do something a little different. So again, here is the before and here is the after.
Well, there it is, everyone. Paint with color. These are my tips. Now, the actual output button is called paint color, but I just like referring to it as paint with color. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.